Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, January 25th. I'm Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar, and we're going to start today, as I do every day, looking at the economic calendar. There is no news today that's going to be announced that's going to be market moving. However, tomorrow, just a little bit of a heads up, the FOMC statement comes out at 2 p.m., so you want to keep your eye on that. Moving over to the morning news, the morning news today is actually yesterday. Yesterday, the market took a, a, a tumble. It was a 190-point uh, roller coaster ride, total range of uh, the S&P. So that was pretty dramatic. Flags are in the red today again, although they did recover yesterday. Let me go over to the big picture yesterday. This is the uh, chart of the one-day S&P, and notice this huge range. This is 189 points yesterday. Market did fall in the morning, recovered in the afternoon. Let me do something for you. If uh, you've been, if you've ever looked at uh, candlesticks in, in terms of starting to trade, and you, and everyone has, right? Look at look at this. This is this is typically something a signal that we don't see uh, very often. This is called the kicker signal. Kicker si signal is gen generally, excuse me, a very strong signal. Uh, in this case, to the upside. But yet, prices are down significantly. Uh, S&P closed. Let me go put the wicks back on. S&P closed yesterday here at 44.11 or thereabouts. Uh, futures right now, and it's about an hour before the market, futures are trading at 43.34. So we're right down here. Let's see, right about here where my cursor is, 43.34. So we're, we're down significantly from uh, from where we closed yesterday, about 80 points. How do you trade a market like this? Well, when I trade, look, nobody knows where the market's going to go. I use the Taylor Book Method calculations to plot out a trading zone on my chart every day. Plus, I put a horizontal line to indicate the previous day's close. Nevertheless, market sentiment in, in times like this, market sentiment is particularly overcoming in terms of the averages. So our prices didn't trade within the trading zone yesterday, which is to be expected. Nevertheless, the indications between the candlestick formations, the sentiment with the long uh, candles down, this is a three minute uh, e-mini chart, micro e-mini chart, um, using stochastics, and I use a fast so stochastic down here, 733, and the candlestick signals, um, it, it's a pretty good indication of, well, up here with stochastics at an overbought uh, position, uh, a trade short would be preferable, of course, to the trade to the long side, with stochastics being overbought. Uh, Typically also, stochastics being oversold, and we see a bottom being put in over here. Learn how to use stochastics. You don't need all these uh, indicators that uh, so many trading shops tell you that are useful. The only thing that's useful is looking where the prices are going. They're right in front of you. They're right in front of you. Plus the stochastics. The stochastics tell you where the market is likely to turn. If it doesn't, you just hop off. And if you take a little loss, you take a little loss. But that's the game of trading. Also, the other thing I want to point out, uh, morning, morning session one way, afternoon session another way. Those who sold at the open, found themselves disappointed when they came back to their computer at four o'clock and found that uh, they had lost money. So look for a morning move, morning trade, and an afternoon trade. They are sometimes similar on a trend day, certainly, but oftentimes the morning trend is different than the afternoon trend. Again, tomorrow, FOMC day, watch for that. Anyway, trade safe. Today, we're looking for um, uh, another volatile day. Uh, the market did uh, recover up to 44.0, let's see, 44.03. But today, trading now down to 43.33, so uh, 70 points below right here, uh, 43.30. Eh, it's trading right about here right now, okay? So that's where we're starting out. And notice we have a uh, resistance level that the market put in just at about that point. So that might be 
the high of the day, or it might show a uh, support uh, over here. But watch this, uh, watch this level, 43.33. Anyway, have a great day. Trade safe. If you want to stand, stand on the side and not be whipsawed, that's fine too. Uh, again, uh, price action, momentum, stochastics, that's all you need. The trading zone, important to know. Certainly, it's a good guide for very, for very often. And I show you how to use that. It's not just some numbers that you put on your chart. I show you how to use that in my regular trading course. So uh, I will see, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.